Hey everyone, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival. Um, last episode, we quickly built this thing. Not really quickly, but got this planned out. And then I was going to go get resources outside of the episode, but just a bit of a pain in the butt right now and it's not done. So I was going to use this. <clears throat> And then decided that I wanted to go do something kind of specific. Um, one time when I was getting resources, it's not the right buttons. Uh, one time when I was getting resources, I was over that way and started getting chased by one of those big red robots that are in the um, uh, what's it called? the ember areas fire forest, whatever. Um, but it was not in the forest, it was just kind of on the hill that I was trying to crawl up, and it came chasing me down. And it's now in the middle of the road, down there a bit. Mm. Sorry. Okay. So I figured I would go try to kill it, but I don't have spud gun. So this might be interesting. So let's uh go see if I can get it or not. Okay. It should be around here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right on the right. Oh, crap. Go this way. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back up this way a little bit, now that I found it. Because it's probably going to kill me. And, oh, crap. And I don't want all my stuff on me. be lost in the process. Where did that hay bot go? Whatever. Okay. Um is it facing the right way? No. This is... Ah, here's my blocks from last time, so I can just bluff into those. So Um, I'm going to jump in the RV and get rid of a bunch of my inventory, <clears throat> which isn't much, but those are the things I need, and I doubt the lights from this will help them. That'll help to find it. Shouldn't... Shouldn't go anywhere. Alright, so last time... I killed one of these... Was a long time ago when I was just... Learning... Survival. When I first came out. And I managed to just stand on the lift. <laughs> and beat it with a hammer. <clears throat> well, you're not supposed to be able to do that, I think. Okay, now where did it go? I hope the arm is okay up there. I don't need it sneaking up on. I want to sneak up on it and jump on my lift right away. But I have no idea where it went. Really? <laughs> uh, it was right here. Couldn't have gone too far. 
probably over destroying my RV. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll just run down the road a little bit. But I know it was right here. I can hear it. This I think I can. Maybe it chased a walk or something. I hope not. That'd be really annoying. But it chased me down that hill. <laughs> I was just exploring in the RV, and next thing you know, there's this big angry robot in my face. Okay, so let's. Do they eventually despawn? And I just happen to get here when it despawn? I have no idea. Oh, thanks. Hey, bot. Sorry to be so quiet, I'm just trying to find this flipping robot. You stop chasing it. Wow, you can see lights from pretty far in this, I'm surprised. It's a nice thing, reason to have little like blinky lights on your creation. Is when you leave it, you can Turn them on as a little kind of beacon. I have the little car beacon on top of it, but I don't really like using that. It's just it's weird. Maybe it went this way. <laughs> I don't know. I'll even make the earlier part of the video brighter and zoom in so that I can tell if that was really it or not. Wait a second. Oh. I really don't know where it could have gone. There's no way I was just seeing it. So that's where I parked the RV last time to look at it. I don't know. I guess I will drive down the road a bit more. <clears throat> I was really hoping it was going to be there. Let's go. Just gonna ignore the hay bot. I could really use the component and electrical kits or whatever, circuit boards. But, whatever. <laughs> I want to find this big thing so I can get the warehouse key. But I don't know where it went. Leave that walk alone. I'm waiting for one of these times I do that and it destroys one of the axes. Is that a tree or a thing I'm looking for? Ah, I'm about... I doubt it would just suddenly despawn. It had to have gone somewhere. Okay. 
Yeah, let's just go down the road a bit more. Unless that's it over there. Oh, that's just a tree. Everything red. <laughs> I'm looking for and seeing as it being potentially that. That's not good. So I've only killed with one before, and. Like I said, it was with the lift and the hammer, and it didn't really go well. I'm surprised I managed. I don't want to go too close to a warehouse without a spud gun, as all of them have tape guns, or whatever they are. No idea. This makes absolutely no sense. Because it came down that hill and I don't see it up the hill. So I think it was that hill. No, it wasn't that hill. Am I in the wrong place? I might not be far enough down the hill, and if not, I'm gonna feel really stupid. But, I know there was one there. I know there was one. Oh, uh, oh well. I could just stay in the area and go after the other robots for now. Maybe I'll do that. Back over here. Fall in the hole? No. Doesn't look like it fell in the hole. I don't know. I could just drive around and look for it forever. There's no point. I haven't been in that structure there, though, I don't. So, I'm gonna go over here and check that out. I'm really curious to see if that actually was a robot that I saw, or... Just seeing things. Oh, I have been here. Okay. There's robots, so that's good. Come on, stop running away. There we go. Awesome. Three circuit boards. You need lots of those. And paint. Ooh, I forgot to make start the paint making <laughs> the craft bot making paint. Ah! Oh, away. Not risking you guys messing up my RV. Other ones. Just go in front of two. Because then when I'm done, I can just drive over. Okay. I got my stuff out of the RV really quick since I have to that big red one. That's the order they go in. 
Okay. Oh, there. Okay. Maybe I'll see it from the top of the uh, building here. Upstairs. When I first started this uh, save, they were only taking like two hits. Now they're taking four. Is there some kind of leveling system? I hope not. Because without being able to choose levels yourself, they should just get harder. Just leave that there. Need to heal a bit. Just making sure they're actually on. So once again, Get out of farm yet, and I don't want that one thing to hold back everything else. But I'll get working on the farm soon. Have a few ideas. Like I showed in a previous episode, I was going to do 5x5 five five plots, I think it was, and then use two pistons and a sprayer to water it all automatically, and then I could pretty much just do the rest by hand, and then do a 5x5 five five plot of each item, each plant, and then figure out fertilizer and stuff then. Go oh, back. And figure out how to defend it. So I don't even really want a spud gun for myself right now. I want the one to uh, take out if I need it. I want to take out the red thing with it. And use it for the warehouse. Other than that, I just want it for resources. For for the fence. Ah. Guess I'll climb all the way back up there again. Okay. That's not all this time. I wish there was some kind of like mobile radio that you could take with you. Other than the one that you have to place in things. I guess I could just come along like through these buildings in between episodes and place radios and stuff, but that'd be kind of expensive. I can't remember if the uh, abandoned shacks have them or not. They might. I think I got mine from either the shop or the warehouse. Or not warehouse, or the rocket ship. Ship. I don't know if it's a rocket ship or just keep them flying there. I can't wait till there's like a full backstory and everything to go with this. Yes, there's a new dev blog coming out this week, and the teaser for it showed uh, sticky wheels. It's like green, slimy stuff on it that actually kind of got left behind as you drove along and made this gooey, stringy bleh. <laughs> really cool. 
Maybe when I get to the RV, I'll go to uh, Twitter and check that out. See if there's any progress. Yeah, if you want to the uh, latest like updates and stuff on this, check out their Twitter or their site. Them being X a lot. <laughs> they are wonderful group that makes this. I don't know. Okay, so, the red thing's nowhere to be seen, even though it didn't really look like it, I was looking around really quick at it, at the top, I didn't see it anywhere, so I might just go to another building and some more robots. I need the metal for switches and bearings and stuff anyway, so... Come on. I've got robot parts everywhere. From driving around without the trailer. Just being too lazy to put stuff in it. Should have made something more like a toter home. And uh I put resource collectors on the back where the trailer had because then I could do it on I bet. Ooh, maybe I'll build a toter home. That would be kinda cool. Uh, for those of you that don't know what a toter home is, it's a tow truck, a, tra a transport truck, a lorry, wherever you're from, and a motorhome, an RV, mixed. So you can still tow your, like, fifth wheel trailers and stuff, but have the full comfort of a motorhome, so that it's smaller. They're really cool. Not the resources I need. And yeah, like I said, I don't see that thing. It was way over there. But... Oh, just stop doing that. I didn't mean to last time, that time was purposely. Oh well. <clears throat> Maybe I'll just take a trip down the road more, see if it's down the road, but I could have sworn it was here. Saved it. Come on. Away from the RV. You. You stupid whole thing. Defense. Here we go. Save your life. What do I get from it? Nothing. No. Now I could use your steak. To make a baguette. It would be really useful. But I haven't yet. Actually, I should have the stuff in the fridge now to do that. Even though I haven't personally killed any of those from picking up the steak when a robot does, I should have. Uh, this is a really bad spot to sit at. Could have been that hell that I came down. Not sure. I can't wait to get the floodlights on this thing. Okay. 
Good. Melt. Okay, so I can make the other things. No, I can only make the veggie burger. How do you make milk, though? That's one thing I haven't figured out yet. So if anyone knows how to get walk milk in this, please let me know. I might look it up. But is it a bucket? Do you go up to one with a bucket? But that would be a bucket of milk. How do you then make it into a bottle? Because I don't remember seeing the bottle in the craft bot or anything. Pretty sure there's another one of those big red ones out here. Some shines up oh, tree in the road. Some trying to keep an eye out. Yeah, it had to have been at that one spot. Because over here is a forest. So... I'm gonna turn around. And head back to base. And kill all the robots on my back. Any over here? I think they all just ran off for a walk. W -O C, not W A L K. Um, looks like there's one up the hill, but. Let's well grab this beeswax. There's lots of it around the. shop so I could just go there and get it but oh well I'm here I need to do something for the video so I may as well get resources should stop getting in through the floor and actually use the door or just remove the door There. I need your bits. Oh, bug just flew through the light beside me and distracted me. Am I always so worried about coming across one of the big red ones today? But we'll go the hill. There we go. The robot part down there, but One up the hill and one down. I guess I'll get this. Oh, there's a couple down here. Come on.
find it funny how they program them to have actual, like, tactics. Instead of just trying to swipe and kill you. So the Haybots will actually, like, back off and try to make you miss. Before... Just attacking you. It kind of makes it a bit harder. Whereas the tote box just kind of run at you. Lots of flowers. Should put a beacon over here for these. Then again, it is just down the street, so it's not hard to find. I'll head back to the base and get the paint going, and then I'll paint some stuff, I guess. I, just, I can't stand resource collecting on camera. It's so boring. But yeah. Back to base, I guess. I might just, like, fast forward it. I don't know. I probably will. Okay, and we are back at the marketplace, or base, or whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, I'm gonna get that paint going really quick. So I need to put it in here. Okay. So repeat, and it'll go until it's all used up. Put the other stuff to storage. It's mainly seeds and stuff. So Here somewhere, right there. Okay, there we go. What else can I do? I figure out the milk thing, so I'm gonna go grab a bucket and then. that out. For those of you... Oh, it's got water in it. Now it's empty. <laughs> Alright, um... For those of you that are still watching at this point, I'm most likely going to make a Warthog for the scout vehicle. I just haven't figured out how I want to do the suspension yet, and it'll probably be similar, if not exact, to the one that I uploaded to the workshop. Um, in the sense that the body will probably be exact, especially once I get wedges and stuff. And then the suspension will probably be as good as I can do, given survival physics. <laughs> survival physics aren't great. Why did I run and not take the RV? That makes no sense at all. 
Oh. And maybe I'll find one on the way back. I guess it saves gas. I've been using a lot of gas. There's usually a walk nearby. That makes much more sense. Just having an idea for farm defense. If I make some sensors and spud guns and stuff, and put them where they spawn in, or make like a little gate they have to go through, I could do that. Oh, I don't want to kill it. Hey, you. Worst build on you? No. Ow! I'm gonna put you in a pen. And then figure this out sometime. Okay? Wanna just kinda... Hey, hey, no, 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 no. I'm inside the RV. So I can take you home. Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. I don't even know what cows like to eat. Okay, I guess I'll leave you for now. Uh, yeah. I thought I saw one down here. There's two down here. Good to know. I'll have to keep that in mind. That's nice and close to base. Um, I kill it, I just get a block steak or whatever. So how do you get the milk from it? Um, scrap. Oops. Scrap. Damn it. Fuck. How do I get the thing? Is there anything attacking me? Oh, that's what corn is for. At least one use for it, okay. So I'm going to bring all my corn. And nothing in here takes corn. Okay. So then... I probably could take a couple of these. Is that... It is height. Okay. So if I were to take, put a couple of these in some kind of trailer... Ah, oh, there we go. So if I... <laughs> as I keep trying to say what I'm saying, um, I could make a special trailer for this guy. And then... Bring them back. And have all the walk milk I want. And then... I can just... Focus on... Something for food. Why did that take me so long to learn? 
And enough of the robots kill the walk that I uh -oh, that I probably don't really need to worry about the stake. Like if I just keep mine nice and safe, <laughs> and then pick up the stake whenever I see them. Hmm. Awesome. Um, that should work just fine. And it stacks to five. That does take potatoes, though. So what do I need to grill for this? Tomato, potato... Yeah, okay, so... Now that I know that, I am going to head back and make a couple more plant pots. I still can't see that. Um, by the way, I'm going to make a couple more of those. And specify what goes in each one. And then I can start growing stuff. Finally at a point where I can just focus on making stuff, not obtaining or how to do. It's kind of nice. Last time I played survival, I just cheated my way through. Just built the whole, built everything. I didn't want to learn how to do everything. I wanted to see how everything worked first. Then I could learn how to do everything. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's five by five. And then I can just connect the water thing like that. And I need two or three to start with. So let's go park the RV. I don't know why I brought here. Lazy. Don't like walking. Eh. Locked my phone and can't see how long I've been recording for. 15 more minutes. Okay. Let's see what I can get done in the next 15 minutes. I remember when. I was doing 5 and 10 minute long videos on this and thought that was long. And now... My weekly video is an hour long. Hey, okay, is there anything that I can put in? Corn can go in the fridge. And I know where I can get some corn right now. Where I, uh, basically... I just go straight out. Literally just straight. And I go get my oil, my blue. Now I can get the corn there. Um, because where I park the RV, I always run over some corn. That's where all that came from. Um, okay. I'm going to empty my inventory really quick. I have wheels for that. Okay, so I got a battery. Got apples. Battery. That, that. And everything else. Everything else can stay. Um. So. Yeah, I've only got five wheels, but it's better than. Because this looks so weird without any wheels on there. There we go. It's better than nothing. Then this one can go right there. So I use the wheels of that. Um, anyways. I'm going to grab more stone so I can make another cage. Um... I also need two pistons and water squirter. So let's get this cage up first, because I only need tomatoes and potatoes. 
for the burgers. So if I bring this over here. Oh, I forgot to grab um what's it called? Soil. Seeing what seeds they had. Um, there's, oh, there was some soil in there. That's not supposed to be there. Okay. Is that all the dirt I have? I think it is. much more right there. Okay. I need to make some more chests too. Right on. Alright, I will lay out a quick 5x5 five five, and then place that around it. <laughs> So that's a one gap. Oh, one more. All right about there. Okay. These should be like so. That should be five by five. So just put it in. I might not have enough to fill it in right now, but spot. Oh, I do have a boss. Okay. And this one's just my template. I guess I didn't really need that over here. Oh well. Um see so yeah, this goes all the way around. Here I guess. Right. Yeah, that's probably good enough. I'm not overly worried about it, as long as it works. It's just a final little defense against robots to slow them down. And then hopefully I can actually get here in time. That's what the little security system was for. Every other one. Awesome. Oops. Going to go make four, pi three pistons, because I have one. And then two water spray things. And two sensors. And I think it's just two sensors and then a controller. Can't quite remember. Anyway. That's what I need for that. Was in here. I need to make more metal. Crap. Okay. So there's one piston and two gates. 
No, I'll need those. These I'm just gonna leave in that one box. Because there's no point in having them out there. <clears throat> Taking up storage space. Take that out, put these in. Water in there as well. So I'll just put all of it in. And fill that back up after from on. Okay, put the metal in. Just need oil. I wish I could just make a warehouse. A where? Ugh. I wish I could make a warehouse of bins or chests that it could just draw from and not have to do this. So this one. Just two for now. I guess I could move trailer over here, but it's a pain in the butt. Okay, I need to make a bunch of metal. This takes metal block two, right? Not three. Two, okay. That should be lots. Well, 80, 90. I'll make a hundred of them. Because I don't really build with them yet, I just kind of use them for other stuff. So, um... I guess I could start a piston. Then I'll need two more. That's a paint. I can finish painting the RV eventually, too. It's only done ten of them, so... Oh, I forgot I transferred some already. Okay. This is one piston, two, three pistons. Um... I only really need one logic gate. Er, sorry, one uh, controller. Because I can have all the water things going at once. So if I just use this one, and then I can use a switch to activate it. So that means I need a switch, I believe. So I need to make a switch. Oh, I have any metal in there? Metal in there. Okay, one switch, and then I'll set off all the water at once. And then, I guess I could use just one sensor as well. So I'm going to need blue and glass, but I'm going to see if I have one. Because I can just use one sensor, and then they'll all be in the same spot at the same time. At least they should be, so I should be able to just... I don't know, I'll try it for now. Um, see if I have any sensors. Don't think. Just quick. Oh, I forgot to grab the glass. Thought I grabbed it. Oh, it needs to be in the thing, in glue. 
Oh, stab it. Okay, this needs to be in here. I'm gonna do two sensors for now just to be safe. Um I can't remember how tall the thing needs to be. Let's see if I can make a little bit of progress on this off camera. Just get everything like made. And then Next episode, maybe I'll actually have a farm going. I can work on the fences for it. But, for now, it's kind of rambling as I do stuff, so... I'm gonna end the video off here. This is pretty much done. I need the water squirty things. Which I just need some these bags for. Okay. I'll set those going and then end off. I and these works. I could have sworn I had some in there. <sighs> then I'll go through off camera and sort it all through that again. Right, but anyways. Next episode we are finally doing a farm. Um I'll see if I can make Ooh, actually, maybe I could get the walk to go right up on the back of that. Maybe I'll make an attachment for that for them. Either way, I'm going to work on the farm, see if I can get some cows. And yeah. Till next time, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.